Now there's another company that I had shared that's Paytm. I have made a couple of videos in the past on Paytm. There was a point when I saw some sort of change in the management uh, and then I thought like this is like a good investment and then the stock went up. Then we saw upgrades from Macquarie. Before all these announcements came, I had shared my point of view on Paytm. Uh, but if you go like during the IPO time, I'd shared a lot of views on why Paytm IPO was extremely overpriced and why I didn't like the management's approach when they were comparing themselves with Bajaj Finance. Those are my thoughts in the early days uh, uh, a few years ago and then suddenly we saw RBI terminating their services and the stock price tanked uh, back to back three days and then it cooled off we saw some news that they are trying to speak with a uh, finance minister but the finance minister says that they should speak with RBI RBI says that there's no point of reviewing it so I think it's a little bit messy situation the govern RBI governor made it clear that they gave ample time to Paytm to clear those pending issues that they had raised and now they are trying to figure out a way to ask the RBI to review those decisions and I think that's not going to happen. My broader investing theme is you should bet on the jockey not the horse and when the RBI says that they had asked the management to correct and they still didn't act on it so you can understand that there's some sort of issue with the management even now and even if they make some sort of major changes I wouldn't be comfortable as long as the management comes clean and, and they take some sort of accountability on the RBI's decisions. I am nobody to comment on technicalities of these issues because I am a little undereducated on that front but I understand the major outcome that comes out of it and it comes from like RBI giving them enough time and they not acting on it as required. So that was my point of view on Paytm. I hope this video helps. I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to this channel if you are into the stock markets. I also share videos on the business side that's on my business nerd podcast. Go check out those episodes. I've had a lot of guests from the stock market as well. Alok Jain from Beacon Investing, Vishal Mehta from Market Screener and a few TV anchors like Mangla Malu from CNBC TV 18 and Neeraj Shah from NTV Profit. I hope you found this useful. Until next time, peace.